This is Tim with Conservative News from Montana. I'm here in Great Falls with City Commissioner Rick Tryron. Tryron. And, and I'll get that right, maybe someday. <laughs> it's, I get it, I'll, 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 anyway, uh, we're here to send a message to the people of this uh, great state of Montana. And so with that, Rick, you got a message that you want to give to the people of Montana. Please uh, just go ahead and tell them what you want them, need them to hear. Sure, yeah. Number one, I guess what I would say is make sure you're letting your, your candidates and your elected officials know what you think. Too many times we see uh, in these elections, both statewide and at the local level, that what happens, Tim, is that uh, a candidate will come up and say what he wants to do and all his brilliant ideas and, or her brilliant ideas and, and instead of listening to what the people say they want to have done. And so I, I have made sure that, um, that when I go represent the people of Great Falls on the city commission, I'm not telling them what my ideas are and that they need to get behind me. I'm trying my best to make sure I'm representing their concerns and their issues and their ideas, whether or not I may or may not agree with them. So <clears throat> I think that's really important that we, we hold our candidates and our elected officials to that standard. Um, I think secondly, what I would say is I know one of the issues that you're concerned about and a lot of people are concerned about is the Big Sky Country National Heritage Area. And uh, it's an issue right now with the Great Falls City Commission. And what I'm hearing from the people to follow up on what I was just saying is what I'm hearing overwhelmingly uh, from the people in this area is that they oppose it. Um, and the city of Great Falls, for some reason, is not respecting that. And so what I hope to do uh, here in the coming couple of months is, or sooner hopefully, is to uh, let the people know that, that we are going to make an, uh, a, a real effort to bring a resolution forward uh, to make sure the, the city of Great Falls as a government entity is neutral. Because right now, the, their policies are to completely support um, the Big Sky uh, Country National Heritage Area effort. And I don't think that's right because the people in this community do not support it. And so we need to do what the people in the community want. Um, I guess the second thing I would say is hang on to your guns, Montana. We are uh, in the midst right now of, I think, what could possibly be, and it's hard, it's hard to imagine this, but what could possibly be the biggest effort to take away our guns that we have ever seen. And they're not doing it with just guns. I think they're taking the back door with ammunition. Anybody who shoots for sport or that, that uh, just likes to stock up on ammo like I do, you know that uh, when you go to a Shields or a North 40 or somewhere where you buy your ammunition, that there's a huge shortage. So we need to be very vocal and very strong about our Second Amendment rights. And we need to make sure that you're getting the message out to your local elected officials and the candidates coming up in local elections and the state election next year and the national elections. Uh, so those, I think those three things are what I, the message I would have for folks and, and hopefully we can, you know, Montana is now solidly red. There was some question about that before Great Falls in Cascade County uh, in the 2020 election, uh, every single Democrat on the ballot lost, every single one. And when I say lost, I mean, what I mean is that uh, not only lost at the statewide legislative races, every single one of them lost, Democrats, every Republican won. But every Republican all up and down the ballot got more votes than the Democrats did in every single race. And so Cascade County has gone from sort of a deep blue 15 years ago to a purple uh, seven years ago to now we're solid red here. And uh, the state of Montana is solid red because it's good common sense folks out like you, too. So appreciate you. One, of the, one of the questions, I guess, sure, that's being yeah. asked regularly about bringing this fight, if you will, for our rights to the local government level. Uh, some, some jurisdictions are running resolutions to stand up, for example, the Second Amendment. We've had that circulated in Montana several times over the last, uh, I'll say, 10 years anyway. And, and 
is does Great Falls have any of that on the table right now for people to get behind uh, that you that you or, or one of one of the commissioners are, are moving forward to get uh, heard by the people so that they can get engaged and then the most importantly is how do the people of Great Falls uh, get into the right page to find the information before decisions are made. Those are the two things yeah, that sure. we hear of all the time. Yeah, uh, the the city website is really a good website here, and it gives that city pr website provides a lot of information, comprehensive information on the issues and the agenda at the work sessions and at the city commission meetings and at the various board meetings. So that's that's GreatFallsMT.net. So GreatFallsMT.net. Okay. Uh, go there, people that live in Great Falls, and you can get a lot of information. My Facebook page, just Rick Tryon. Just look up Rick Tryon in Great Falls, and I'm always posting information and links and everything there. Um, and no, there isn't any anything right now uh, on Second Amendment issues, but stay tuned. Okay. There will be. The, the other issue that ties in with the with the Big Sky Heritage Area designation, if you will is that 30 by 30 plan, which is an executive order from uh, President Biden. Biden, And, and we are um, hearing a lot of the folks from different uh, areas that are, are following the suit. Um, is that 30% 30, 30 by, by 2030? Yeah, 30 million acres by 3030, uh, okay. locked into basically de facto wilderness um, for, the, for, for the purpose of climate oh, okay. control. Okay, right, 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 right. So, uh, there, that's another one that's on the front that's, that a lot of people are talking about, and the communities right. need to be engaged in that too because, uh, you know, it affects their opportunities to go recreation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and, and the natural resource industries are are just getting hammered with this kind of thing, which puts everything yeah. out of business. I think you make a great point. You know, the place where people can really get involved is at the local level, the city level. We have boards. We have you know all kinds of uh, neighborhood council positions, city commission. We have a city commission election coming up. Uh, I encourage uh, like-minded conservatives, constitutional conservatives, to get involved at the local level. Start there. Uh, you know, we can complain about everybody in Washington, D.C., but, uh, you know, the rubber meets the road in your hometown, in your community, in your neighborhood. That's, that's where stuff gets done. And the Democrats and the progressives know that. And I think conservatives are a little late in catching up, but they're starting to. And I think that's a good thing. So. All right, united we stand, and thank you, Rick, for thank your you. service to the people of Montana. Yep. And uh, the Constitution is also thanking you for standing up for it. Thank you, Tim, for everything you do. Appreciate everything you do. Okay, thank you, sir. You bet.